everyone welcome back to a new video today i want to sh show you how you can realize um, the lighting design as you can see on my screen in this moment so how you can start after you import the dpg file into dialogues what are the next steps for example how you can uh, draw a certain space how you can add for example room elements active room elements uh, for example, also windows and, and doors to your space. And yeah, let's start. The first thing I will say how you can work. First step is to draw a new room or the, uh, draw new indoor contour. For example, I will just, I want to build a bigger room than what we have here. So I will go until end. And here you go. So here this is a new room. Let's see. I think it, it was not taking into account because I did not save it yet. So I will do once again. You should click yes. And then the room will be created. Unfortunately, I was not paying attention. And then the new room will be automatically seen on 3D. I want to create a, like a, a gym for all the owners of this block of flats, just to have a place where they can um, enjoy some free space. But I want to draw some columns, for example. You could just drag and drop first you see it's quite big and I will show you in a moment how you can define it for example I will just place it 0.4 or 0.4 by default it was one meter per one meter and we can see now how big is this column and then if you want to copy along a line we just go on copy, press this mouse position, I will just say let's add another one here. So yeah, let's say we have three columns. It looks like this. If we want to name the, the space, we can go like this. Let's say instead of room 18, we'll say we just mentioned gym. Then also here it will be automatically saved. And we can just work on this uh, particular space. And here yeah, you see it, how it looks. The gym space. And now we just go on 2D once again. Let's add, uh, we'll just go on the story one because I want to see the window. So here, if we want to use the same, just drag and drop. After we add the windows, you can also scale up and down based on the size of the window that you have. And it looks like this. You can adjust, of course, the height of the window. This is 0.8. If you want to make it to lower it or uh, increase the, the height from the floor, you can just change it here. I will let it as it is. I'll just move to, to D and then I will just... You can do the same as with the, with the column which I inserted. Copy and just paste with the mouse option and then if it's not fixed on the right spot you just place it like this you can drag and drop and we have it also here it's much easier to drag in from top we go on the left side and then yeah 
so we have the two windows on this side and one here so yeah all the three windows are here let's focus on adding also a door i would say let's place a door here oh and yet we need to go and if you want to add furniture you can do it also from here or you can choose also the catalogs with the objects Here we have, don't have any elements related to the roof and things like that. So we do not need to do that. And here let's um, add also some furniture. Let's say if you want to have a sofa, you can just click on it, apply, and you should remove there. Yeah. And if you want to drag, you just drag and drop. You can place it yeah, on this corner. Yeah, it looks like this. And here, if you want to change the space, we can do more things let's if you want to change the column we can save it we can we can move it to the just click just click on it move and then yeah as you want you can up down or let it there if you want to check also the distance for example the two columns you can have this meter and you can see it here 2.5 and you can check also the other one this is bigger distance and also it's not we need to move it more to the left side so you can easily do it like this and also you want to be up and then once again with the roller you can see exactly where you we are once again yeah uh, it looks like this so this is when you want to add a little bit uh you want to add columns ramp a platform uh also you can we can add round columns if you will need this one so here well, let's put 0.4 and the diameter will be 0.4 just to have a comparison between the rectangular and square so yeah see i think it looks much better to be honest the, the wrong one but yeah up to you or up to the space that you want to use and when you want to delete just remove it so this is a little bit uh, how you can add uh, columns if you want to add a, a ramp for example um, let's see how it looks in, in 3d this I would say is more for outdoor and then you can place also with the geometry the height can be 0.5 so do not be so steep so you can by choosing the the height you can play also with uh, uh, steepness let's say of of the ramp and if you want to pull it up down easy to do that left right or even rotate when you want to rotate it just once again and you see how so on which angle 90 degrees 45 and it looks like this and you want to add it also on the on the floor you need to change also the the height actually where will be mounted uh, the ramp platform in case of the staircase we can add it here let's see how it looks you need to define it as well the information i think here we have everything on the aperture here active aperture as that we can choose the doors 
and just drag and drop where is the where we want to add the door yeah because here i did not i'll just rotate it actually i should delete it because this, the other space near the, the door is not being defined then it's placing me such a big door but i can place it for example here come on and then it looks like this and here to the we see the door and we see the as well we need to move it a little bit more yeah. and now we can we can see also the door of course we can mount more doors up to us i think i would just delete i would just let one column mm. as three are too many i think until now you realize how to to add columns and yeah, add it based on your dimension. And when you want to add furniture, then we just go, as you have seen, we have an object catalog, then you can take it there, everything from here. Depends on the application. For example, then you just apply if I want to add some room partition so so i can add it here look like this you want to have a different floor then we go we can go to the texture Uh, from here we have this catalog and then we have the material or the color i will say let's take some material we will go for indoor then if we want to have this kind of floor we just add it to our design let's choose also a color catalog for the walls here we have some some colors that we can uh, choose let's go for more light here it's very good to know that you have also a reflection factor which is taking account or is very important when the lighting design you establish the lighting design because of the reflection so sometimes if you use light colors uh, you will need less um, lumens so to say or low uh, not so many luminaires in the end uh, compared with dark colors where the light will be absorbed by the color and less reflect uh, reflections um, and then you will need uh, more luminaires to be added to that space and here yeah you can see if i add the green it's already changing the, the color And then moving over you can see it also here you can add colors also to the bed also to the the furniture also to the sofa so you can really personalize it and also to to the windows you can look like with wood or white can be um, what you can see here is just standard gray color so it's very important in lighting design to have the the finish as accurate as possible so that's all for today hope that you find useful this information related to how defining a, a space and drawing the space in in, in dialogues as you can see story and building construction draw new room and from that's the first step after you have uh, imported the dvg file into dialogues then you can move to doors and on windows to be added edit the surface that you have by for example name and then you have all the information related to the lighting output and um, ugr for example um, glare defined already by uh, by um, the international standards and applied into the dialogue software and then if you have columns 
rectangular round you can add it by choosing the room element in the end furniture uh, you have it here furniture and objects and then the materials where you can have two catalogs one is based on material catalog and the other one on the color catalog so please subscribe to my youtube channel give a like to this video and until next time i wish you all the best take care of you bye bye